Okay, so there's been a lot of talk about players who pass the ball just for the sake of it. Tipping the ball around the pitch without any real cutting edge or end product. Let's see if that's true. Let's take a look at the last 11 Premier League seasons and see who came out on top that year for most passes. 08-09, Danielson, 2,535. Yeah, if there was a goal in the booth for passes, the man to be picking up the award would be Danielson. Yes, that Brazilian lad who Arsenal fans now view as nothing more than a black stain on their history. Yes, he started well, but as time wore on, most of them would rather have stuck a melted ice cream in centre mid than him. But 08-09 was the breakout year for him. He won 148 tackles and passed the ball 2,535 times, nearly 100 more than his next competitor, Zabi Alonso. Then again, of those two and a half thousand passes, he only sits at seven goals, proving that he just spent that year giving the ball to Fabregas. I feel like this is just going to be some weird list. For Christ's sake, the sixth highest passer in England that season was Jamie Carragher, a lad who was never known for his accuracy, except for when he was spitting at little girls, of course. But then he had the accuracy of Michael Van Gerwen. 0910 Barry Ferguson, 2,168. Yeah, Barry Ferguson passed the ball more times than anyone else in the league, more than Mascherano, more than Lampard, more than Tom Huddlestone. 2,168 times. To be fair, that was the year Birmingham went on a 12 game unbeaten run and finished ninth. But Ferguson, really? I'm guessing about 60% of those passes were back to the goddamn left back. 10 11, Danny Murphy, 2,330. Yep, yeah, Danny Murphy's at the top of the pile for 10 11, having passed it 2,330 times, pipping Michael Essie into the post. It was a good year for Murphy. Fulham had followed up that Europa League final by finishing eighth the following year, while that apart Roy Hodgson was busy pressing the goddamn self destruct button on his own career. 11 12, Ashley Williams. 2,594. Okay, this is ridiculous. How the hell did Ashley Williams top the pile during the 11-12 season? I mean, nowadays the lad wouldn't be able to pass butter, but seven years ago, the Swansea captain was excelling in Brendan Rodgers' free-flowing, possession-based football. So he beats Luka Modric by 60 passes. Yes, current Ballon d'Or winner Luka Modric. I'm beginning to realise these stats are absolutely pointless. For Christ's sake, three other Swansea players came in the top 10 that year, with one of them being the goddamn right back. We get it, Brendan. Your teams love a good pass. And evidently, I slip while they're at it. 12-13, Michael Carrick, 2,774. Finally, a name that makes sense. Now, Michael Carrick was often given an unfair reputation of just being the man who makes backward passes, but he did rack up 2,774 during the 12-13 campaign as Man United romped to the league. Know how many assists he got? Four. Four assists in the entire league. For Christ's sake, one Mata got 18 that year and came in 12th for overall passes behind the likes of Angel Rangel. Carrick was the top player, but let's be honest, at least 80% of his passes were sideways across the park. 13-14, Yaya Torre, 2,502. 13-14 was an incredible season for Yaya Torre. Not only did the man pass the ball 2,502 times, 300 clear of his next competitor, the man also scored a career best 24 goals, including one in the cup final as Man City won two trophies. Oh, and he also picked up nine assists, more than the likes of Coutinho, Hazard and one Mata. You'd be hard pressed to find a more productive season on this list than that. 1415 15 Cesc Fabregas, 2,743. Right, remember what I said about you wouldn't find a more productive season than Torres? Fabregas pushes him damn close. I mean, Torres' passing numbers were still high, coming in second on 2,412, but the newly arrived Chelsea playmaker Cesc Fabregas was way out in front with 2,743. He also picked up 19 assists and lifted a League and Cup double. See, doesn't that just make a lot more sense than the likes of Ashley Williams? 15-16, says Fabregas, 2,829. The most passes in this list so far, Fabregas clocked up 2,829 the following campaign, but that was the year Chelsea found themselves practically bottom at Christmas, sacking Jose Mourinho with the likes of Fabregas almost being tossed in the goddamn recycling. In comparison to his previous season's 19 assists, this campaign he recorded 7 as Chelsea finished 10th. Then again, as we've shown, the amount of passes don't necessarily reflect the player's performance. Priced above, that was the year Glenn Wheeling came inside the top eight. And as I've made perfectly clear, I would not trust that man to butter a sandwich, let alone cut through a goddamn defence. 16-17, Cesar Aspilicueta, 2,459. And so, a Chelsea man tops the list for the third season running. Under Antonio Conte, Aspilicueta racked up 2,459 passes as Chelsea played out from the back in that crazy 3-5-2 system. A system which turned Victor Moses from Anfield flop into Premier League champion. Second in the list was Granit Xhaka. You know, the lad who was supposed to be Arsenal's answer to Patrick Vieira, but in reality just had Arsenal fans crying in the shower. 17-18, Granit Xhaka, 3,160. Speaking of the man himself, in a season where Arsenal finished 6th, got their manager the boot and had many fans screaming for the head of the Swiss captain, Granit Xhaka still racked up 3,116 passes, nearly 300 more than anyone else in the goddamn list. He picked up 7 assists, which on the face of it is decent, but I'm sorry, if you're passing the ball over 3,000 times, how in God's name are you not picking up double figures? Mind you, this was the season where Pep Guardiola's vision finally came to fruition. So is it any wonder the top 10 was represented by 5 of his players? 18-19, Jorginho, 3,118. And finally, we have found a player who's 
have picked up the most passes in a Premier League season over the past 11 years. Beating Xhaka's previous total by two, Jorginho stands tall at the top of the list, beating of competition from Virgil van Dijk, Amaric Laporte and David Luiz. It is worth noting that of the top six passers in the league, four of them came from Sarri Ball. You know that style of play that most Chelsea fans demand to be exterminated forever from Stamford Bridge, with most of them losing patience on Jorginho by Christmas. To put this number in context, it's 1,000 more passes on the good old Barry Ferguson, who finished top of the stands nine years earlier. The man passed the ball on average 84.27 times a game, but assisted a grand total of zero. Maybe that's why Chelsea fans were getting on the man's back. It's like spending nine hours drunkenly punching letters on a keyboard and hoping to write a book by the end of it. You can pass, pass, pass all you want, but I'm sorry. If you do that over 3,000 times a season and you can't summon up a single assist, there is something seriously wrong.